Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today I have an unboxing of Estrabook items that I purchased directly through Estrabook for the first time. And first thing up, they provided a free bookmark and it's made of this metal. I'm hoping it's gonna be very sturdy, but it's really nice to look at. And so it came uh, well packaged in this cardboard. Next, I got this Estrabook book holder and it is the bronze color and not the gold, but this part is very smooth and I plan to use it to hold open like my traveler's notebook and also my B6 um, common planner because that the pages are always like humped over so it takes some time uh, for it to flatten out and I think that would help. I did get a journaler nib and this is I thought it was not a 1.1 <laughs> what okay I need to look back at my notes because if I got anything if anything this was not the 1.1 unless the journal is 1.1 so I need to look back at that um and then I had to get their newest thing which is really what gravitated me towards their website it says adventures are waiting and they have a sticker that's why we made this for you and I love their logo in this orange it's cute so this is the Estra book to go cup And I got mine in tan because I wanted the blue interior. Now this is like a canvas, but not as tough of a canvas as like, let's say your superior labor. It's more soft and flexible, but does seem to be sturdy. Um, and then they have their logo down here. So this is made of leather, or it feels like leather. And then you have some Velcro here. You have these magnetic pen clasps. And then you have the insert, which you're supposed to separate so that you could put your pens in each little section. So let's do that here. And I can push it all the way down to the bottom, like so. I'm pretty sure my pens would properly separate the inserts. And then you can fold it down. Cool. So if you don't already know, this is going to be the beginning of my journey into Estra Books but let's see how it looks with some of the pens that I have inked up right now. So I have my Diplomat, my Sailor, I probably put a couple pens in there at once, uh, my Platinum, my Twisby and my Laban. There we go. And no, no, when you put in six, this does feel like it's the perfect amount of room for each pen. So you don't need to stuff it more than that um, unless you have thinner pens. And then you just use this to keep it closed and the magnetic 
sections there. Yep. And then there you go. So this is going to be traveling with me when I am traveling. <laughs> and I'm excited about that. So yes, and then it, you know, it stands up on its own so you can have it off to the side like so. Um, and back to this nib. So this is meant to be the journaler nib, which is really just a 1.1 stub. Um, or at least that's what it says on the nib. So I'll have to see, check with them in my order to see if I ended up getting a stub or, I mean, I don't know if they are supposed to label this any different, but it just says 1.1 stub, although they do have a 1.1 stub option. So I didn't know it was just going to be like a 1.1 stub, otherwise I wouldn't have spent as much as I did for it. So, saving the best, one of the best for last. This is going to be my third ever Estra book, and it is the Evergreen with Gold Trim. Wow. Hmm. It looks like a forest to me. It's really pretty. I really like how the light hits all the parts that are reflecting back. So this is just a standard and I got it in the, oh yes, in the broad nib. So I'm excited to see how the broad writes. My medium writes really well. My fine was a little rough going. Um, and then I have the journaler nib, which I got to look into just to make sure that this is really a journaler nib and not just a 1.1 stub. Um, so yeah, I got to look into that. Um, but that's pretty much all I got. So let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm a little bit underwhelmed about the nib because it was almost a hundred dollars and um but as for everything else i'm really excited to use and we'll see how it goes so i will be catching you up at a later date as to how i'm using these items and how it's going and i want to thank you all for watching and i will catch you in the next video bye